Yeah, hey, up everyone. Right, so today I want to talk about um, state capitalism. Right, so this is this is a phrase that you might hear um, come up <clears throat> usually in some kind of discussion about the Soviet Union and what the economic system of the Soviet Union was. So you'll get many Marxists. Um, Leninists, Stalinists, whatever, supporters of the Soviet Union. A lot of them will tell you that the Soviet Union's economic system was socialism. This fits in with like the Marxist idea that there has to be an intermediary stage between capitalism and communism, which they call socialism. And they're like, a lot of those would argue that... Um, that the Soviet Union was socialist. But I think any honest analysis of how economics worked within the Soviet Union would have to say that it was in no way socialist or communist. It was no... It hadn't moved on from capitalism to any anything towards socialism or anything like that, or communism. And... In 1921, so like right at the beginning of the the civil war that happened within the Soviet Union, at the same time that they're attacking the anarchists in Kronstadt, um, Lenin introduces this policy which he calls the new the new economic policy. Right, that's what he calls it. But essentially, if you look at this new economic policy that he introduces, it's basically the reinstallment of capitalism. So, if you think of like the features of capitalism, is that workers are exploited um, because the the company like is designed to create profit, and profit comes from exploiting workers, right? So you exploit workers, you get them to work then you don't pay them the value that they create through their work. So their work, like if they, they get raw materials, they apply labour to it and create commodities, then they create a certain amount of value within that product, right? So what the, the trick that the capitalist does is he doesn't pay you the true value that you create and he takes that away as profit, right, yeah? And this is done through the system of wages, right? So wages are set by the, by the company and you get paid a set wage every week or whatever, irrespective of how much work you do, do you know what I mean? Like, and you get paid on an hourly basis or whatever, weekly basis or whatever, but you don't get paid the value that you create. You get paid like a set amount. So this is like one of the tricks that they play under capitalism of how, how workers are exploited, right, yeah? So one, it's about generating profit, which is taking what's called surplus labour value, the value above what you're paying them, right? So that's profit. And it also has a wage system, which is used basically to exploit the worker, right? right? So those, these are features of capitalism, right, yeah? Um... And when you look at this new economic policy, which Lenin introduces, this introduces these aspects back into the economy. So the means of production, this is a term from economics, which basically means like the means of production means like the way that things are produced, the way that things are created and made within that society. Do you know what I mean? So like under capitalism, that would be like a factory um, or a place of work, a business, um, that they are the means of production, they are the ways by which we produce things, the way that things are created and made and goods and commodities and stuff are made in factories and stuff, yeah? So basically, who owns the factories? Who's in control of the way that we create things, right? This is, this is called the means of production, right? Basically, in the Soviet Union, the means of production were owned by the state, right? So we've got this system of economics that has basically the same features of capitalism. It's got profit, motive, it's got wages and stuff within it, yeah. But the feature of this system that makes it different from standard capitalism is that the means of production are not owned by private individual capitalists, it's owned by the state, 
right? So the state is the employer, the state is the capitalist, the state is the business, is the company. These are all state enterprises that take place here, right? Yeah. And basically they run under the same system of generating profit, right? So basically, even under this system, there's profit that's being made, but the profit's being taken by the state, yeah? And, uh, um, and at like a business level, rather than it like being taken by capitalists. So these are the features of the Soviet system that was created by Lenin's new economic policies here, right? So basically, this this issue of like what what is the Soviet Union? How do you define it, right? Do you know what I mean? Socialism, communism don't seem to apply to it in any way, shape or form. So what do you call it, right? Yeah. So this has been like a feature of, of the analysis of the Soviet Union for a long time. So basically Trotsky, um, when he looked at the system, he defined it as a deformed workers state, yeah? So he said like it was a worker state, but it wasn't work, it was like being deformed by this introduction of capitalism, really. But then later other Trotskyists later on started describing it as state capitalist, yeah. And basically that's an analysis that the anarchists have taken of it. That's how we would describe it is a state capitalist, right? So it's essentially that the 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 system uses capitalist means in order to like work to function by paying wages by taking profit and stuff it has these capitalist features but the enterprise is is controlled and owned by the state by the government by the political party by the communist party whatever they run the industry they they run companies and and, and factories and stuff like that it's all run by them so that's basically the essential features of what we might call state capitalism yeah um this this would would also um apply to china today as well I mean, that's a perfect state capitalist system that's, that's set up there um i get well to, to be fair china's also kind of gone even a bit further than state capitalism it's actually got pure capitalist features they've got private individuals who own the means of production in China, do you know what I mean? So it's even gone further than the Soviet Union did towards capitalism, right? So basically, you see, like, another thing that, like, how you can tell this is that, like, the Soviet Union used to buy lots of um, rice and stuff, and it used to buy commodities and stuff from America, yeah? So if you've got a capitalist system and your system in your country is able to trade with a capitalist system, it must have capitalist features to it. Do you know what I mean? Like, so basically when we think about communism, right? Communism wouldn't be able to trade with a capitalist nation because there would be no means by which we could exchange things. Do you know what I mean? Because there'd be no money in, under communism. So how would you even go about buying some, something from a capitalist country or whatever? Do you know what I mean? The systems would be incompatible with one another. But the system in the Soviet Union was perfectly compatible with the capitalist economies of the West. And they allowed them to trade and, and operate with them. Do you know what I mean? So this again kind of proves that it has these capitalist elements to it, this capitalist way of, of working and stuff, do you know what I mean? So that's it basically, state capitalism is basically the way that the Soviet Union was run, it's the way that China was run, it's the way that basically these countries that called themselves socialist moved away from actual socialism and moved quite clearly towards capitalism. So the Soviet Union was capitalist.